Good morning, people. It's still a little dark out here. Let's see if we can get a little better light. A little bit better. Well, guys, welcome to the Penny Pinching Prepper channel. I haven't been much about prepping lately, and I know a lot of you uh, have been very patient, and I appreciate that a whole lot. <clears throat> I'm finally here in Alabama looking for a place. Sure, I'll find something soon enough, but uh, I guess I just wanted to put this message out this morning that I know in the community I hear a lot of times that it's, you know, really hard to move from one place to another, and it is. I get that. Um, but if you're living in a place where you feel like you got to watch every corner, every move. You got to be worried about whether or not you're going to have your amendments ripped away from you tomorrow morning or, you know, whenever it may be. You know, a place like Washington, where I came from. Washington State. Guys, moving is hard when you're starting fresh somewhere new that you're not familiar with i'm not gonna sit here and try to say it's the easiest thing on the face of the planet when it really isn't but if the move's important to you and you truly want to be around like-minded people and people that appreciate this country for what it is and want to keep it and versus changing it just set your mind to it. Start making plans now. Don't get this mindset that, oh, everything's too hard. I'll just give up now. Roll with it. Put faith in God, if that's your thing. And uh, just roll with it. You'd be surprised what comes out when you put a plan in motion. It might not come out exactly the way you plan it to, but it can definitely come together. Here I am, Alabama. Some people might say, ah, you're in the, the hot sticky land, right? No, it's all good. I'd rather be in the hot sticky land than not be able to buy my standard capacity, you know, magazine. Instead of being stuck with some reduction, right? Or, uh, you know churches being closed down or uh, whatever I, I can go on and on it's 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 no need for me to sit here and ramble all the different things that have gone wrong in Washington um but uh definitely guys if you got a plan or an idea or a uh Oh, I want or need to, to change things up. Don't let worries, don't let money, don't let discouragement, don't let anything get in your way. Make the plan push through. Everything else can fall in place along the way. Don't worry about the little details. Get to where it feels more like home. And for those of you who feel like, oh, I can't leave my state, <clears throat> because I need to make it better. Well, if you're in a state like Washington, Oregon, California, the whole system is against you. And when the system is against you, it's really not an easy fight. And unless you can get the majority of the people in your area on board, the changes aren't gonna come. <clears throat> and, uh, it's best just to move on. Uh, I hate sounding that way. I miss Washington. I'm not going to deny it. That's been my home most of my life. I've traveled around. I've been in different places. Oregon, California, Colorado, Massachusetts. Um, I can, you know, lots of different places. But I always ended up back in Washington somehow. Not this time, guys. 
Now this is home. It is absolutely beautiful here. Uh, I, I really can't stress enough since I've set foot on this soil of the great state of Alabama <clears throat> that uh, it's like this, this weight's been lifted off of me. It's like I can smile again and really mean it and not feel like it's some forced fake BS. Excuse my language. But, uh, there's something to be said when you're in the midst of chaos, how much you can be pushed down and not realize it. You know, there's an old saying, if you hang around crap long enough, you start to smell like it. Whew, let me tell you something, I can breathe here. Everything smells like flowers and roses. There's nothing pushing me down. I feel like a new man. I feel like I'm ready to to push forward. So to get to the point of this video is uh, in all that chaos and move and stuff and you know everything else, things got a little tight. <clears throat> I know I promised you guys that I would be back a little sooner and, and uh, I'm not there yet and I probably won't be back around till sometime next month to start doing my projects again but I got a good one to start you with um, it's a frameless cot um, it's a design I believe it's a design thought up and made by uh, Corporal's Corner, and uh, great guy, if you've never seen his show, go check it out, uh, he's one of those big YouTubers, but he was supposed to actually market the frameless cot, and never got around to it, and so I decided that I was going to make it, because it's a really cool idea, and so... I'll have that one coming to you shortly, and if you're wondering, for those of you who are not familiar with him and wondering what a frameless cot is, it's uh, basically just the material of the cot. You've got to make the frame, uh, and it's designed in a manner to make it really super fast and simple instead of, you know, having to actually design a cot frame. It's it's more of just you know, throwing some logs together or branches and filling some stuff in. You'll, you'll see when I make the video, but <clears throat> Frameless Cod, it's coming soon. I think you guys will like it. It's pretty cool. Uh, so, on that note, guys, have some patience. I'll tune in, chime in every once in a while, let you know how everything's going, let you know how this transition's happening, you know, all the goods and the bads. Um, right now, the bads is just getting all the paperwork done. When you move from one state to another, and and uh, you're in my situation, for those of you who know my situation, <clears throat> it's a lot of paperwork, a lot of time, but I'm looking forward to finding a place and, and uh, real soon and being a true Alabamian. I think I said that right. I don't know. I'm sure I'll get schooled if I didn't. Uh, that's a... The one thing I'm learning about around here is they're going to make sure you know what you need to know no matter what to make you fit in here versus bringing your crap with you. <clears throat> uh, great state of Alabama, if you're listening, I didn't bring nothing with me. No crap. I'm here to live my life, be around some like-minded people. And uh, hopefully continue to breathe. That's important. You know. In the nose. <sighs> out the mouth. Mr. Miragi, right? <laughs> but uh, keep breathing, guys. And hopefully, eventually, that air will clean up. Uh, if not, make a move. There's still clean air in this country. Just remember, when you get there... Don't allow the same crud to creep into the state that you just left. You can't just move to another state and expect things to change. 
You've got to be a part of the change. All right? <clears throat> you can't vote for the same types of people you always did if you're part of the reason that your state went to crud. All right? Remember, when you get to a good state, find out how they vote so you can keep that state good. Don't go in there and, and just go, oh, I know best. Uh, get to know the locals, see what they have to say about the politicians and, and uh, the way the states ran or the state you moved to. Um, because uh, if not, you know, it's, it's gonna be like Colorado and Washington. All those implants are gonna come in from, let's say, California. That was Washington's problem. Big implants from California. Massive numbers. You know, if you come up to move to a place to get away from the crud that you're in and you vote the same way, well, then you're just bringing all that crud with you. And it's just gonna, you know, you're just gonna bring, bring your state with you. You might as well have just stayed there and, and wallowed in it, right? So, uh... Important to realize that when you move somewhere, find out what makes it work, what makes it tick, what makes it roll on and roll on, and uh, work with that. Don't try to, I mean, unless of course your beliefs are already in line, I mean, then it makes it super simple. But don't move to a good state because it's better than the state than you left and bring that same crud with you. It, just not first of all you're not gonna make very many friends <laughs> they ain't gonna like you but second of all you moved there because it's supposed to be better keep it better don't let it fall anyways guys I'm gonna get off here I've been rambling now for 12 minutes longer than I need to <laughs> I just really wanted to touch bases get back with you guys let you know that you know i miss y'all love y'all i think great and uh hope to pump out some good videos for you shortly instead of just me chit chatting actually get back to what i do best showing you guys how to make stuff and uh saving money <clears throat> because uh things are definitely not getting any cheaper saving money right now is important so remember guys God's good, God bless, and have a beautiful morning. I know I'm going to. So, talk at you later.